Шановні колеги, Максим Нефьода, first deputy minister of economic development and trade of Ukraine, Андрій Гайдуцький, deputy head of the state property fund of Ukraine, Ярослав Юртишин, executive director of Transparency International Ukraine, Андрій Токар, director on logistics issues of the public PJSC Укргазводобування, and Алексій Соболів, head of the Prozora office. The first one to speak is Алексій. Thank you. Today we are starting a new stage of reform of the public uh, sales and we will be talking about creation of uh, a new database which will be selling the assets of the state companies. The first one is uh, um, to, to speak is Maxim Nifyodov. Uh, good morning. Thank you uh, for coming and viewing us. I will remind you how it all started. We managed to develop quite an efficient system of anonymous uh, auctions for online procurements. When we are fighting for the symmetry of information, when plenty of platforms are connected to one database and they allow to uh, provide services to clients at high quality. On the other hand, no one has 100% uh, information, which reduces the risk that th this there will be some uh, leakage of information. The system has been tested in many thousands of uh, transactions in public procurements, and it was logical to uh, develop that logic and uh, uh, to start not uh, auctions for reduction of prices, but for growing of prices, uh, for sale of uh, state property. We know that the state spends a lot uh, uh, for uh, some services and goods, but the state is also selling a lot. Uh, Thing, some uh, certain, uh, well, billions or hundreds of billions uh, worth of different assets are on the balance of state uh, companies and they are to be sold. Uh, talking about non-transparency, corruption risks uh, in public procurements, thanks to uh, investigate uh, investigators uh, and uh, law enforcement bodies, but uh, we started uh, Prozora Sales, uh, the separate uh, project which is headed by Alexei Sobolev and which is directed uh, towards the following, to efficiently sell the assets of uh, fund of guarantee the deposits of physical persons they have more than uh, 140 billion grivnas in their balance and um, they have some um, uh, properties uh, uh, everything that you can imagine what is the real well, you no know, one knows, maybe that's 100 uh, billion grivnas or 150 billion grivnas or 80 billion grivnas, but it's uh, money that uh, are of macroeconomic significance. We launched in the beginning of autumn. For five months, we had a pilot project. We uh, had uh, many hundreds of transactions and the amount of the property sold is about uh, uh, 190,000 grivnas uh, and uh, starting from February the system has become mandatory for sale of all the assets of the fund of guarantee deposits. It proved to be effective. We looked at the efficiency at uh, uh, sales, the percentage of increase of price, and it demonstrates that the system is effective. Myself, as the person from business, I do not believe in reforms which cannot be proven in graphs. Uh, and we have a logical desire to continue this process and to expand this system to assets of uh, state companies 
many of which are from old cars to uh, some uh, agro-industrial complexes, just everything. To say nothing about corruption risks and other problems, the state companies usually have no normal mechanism of sale of these assets, even if an honest and efficient uh, head of the uh, state company wants to get concentrated on main activity without paying time to uh, something, some other assets. What can he do? Uh, write an announcement on the website. I don't think that you often look at the websites of Ukr Gas Vodobovanya, Ukr Zaliznice, Ukr Posta, and uh, don't think that you look whether they uh, put something interesting for sale. So I'm very happy that now we will have such a mechanism. I hope that it will prove its efficiency and we'll be expanding it and disseminating it and our trans trans traditional partners from Transparency International, they agreed to uh, get involved uh, even more into this process of reforms. And uh, I'm convinced ju that just like in other projects, we will succeed here. I also would like to emphasize the cooperation with the State Property Fund. That's quite an interesting instrument which the State Property Fund can use for any anything. We are developing instruments. We This could be used uh, uh, for anything, for lease of assets of state companies, for small privatization, and I'm happy that the fund uh, is not afraid to uh, implement experiments, and they, I would like this reform to be felt. And I would like the money that uh, re that are received from the sale of such assets are used for enhancing the efficiency. And next time, we will report that we uh, sold something not needed and put something needed in a transparent way. As Maxim said, our main partner at this stage of reforms is the State Property Fund of Ukraine. I'm happy to welcome Andriy Haidutsky, deputy head of the State Property Fund and he would, will tell us why it is so important for them. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, esteemed colleagues. I'm happy to see you all here. Thank you for all who hear us. I would like to thank the uh, Prozora team and MERD team for uh, the electronic uh, uh, platform. Uh, the, uh, a lot has been done to enhance the level of transparency when it, com when it comes to sale of the state property. We launched the resource privatization GovUA there in online. You can see how much time is left uh, for preparation of the auction on sale of this or that asset. All the small privatization is now um, uh, happening in small stock exchanges. We launched uh, several auctions, uh, Dutch uh, auction, uh, the auction without the announcement of the starting price. Uh, the 90% of all state property was uh, commissioned uh, 50, 150 years ago, more than 50% of all state companies have big debts. Many of them operate with uh, negative uh, results, and all that requires new uh, approaches to sale of, pub of state property. The sale of state property now is at a very low level, even though last year we doubled the volumes of privatization. That's related to the fact that first these assets are very old and there are big uh, debts there. Some of them are in bankruptcy. As a result, the starting prices offered uh, are too high. Very often they are 10 or more times high. Uh, we see that because we put it on a Dutch uh, auction and the price goes down by 90% from the starting price. 
and the asset is not sold. The question is to evaluate us. Very often evaluators, unfortunately, when they are evaluating the asset, they are uh, looking at the property. They take the property and they calculate how much it would have cost if it had been built from the scratch. And we receive some offers, uh, some offers from the evaluators, but no one in the state property fund will agree to reduce this price by 10, by 90 percent, because that's a state property and there's a supervision from the law enforcement bodies. And that is why we prepared together with, Mer with the Ministry of Economic Development uh, and with uh, the new draft law and privatization, which excludes the Institute of Evaluators from preparing the process of preparing assets for privatization. Now everything will be happening differently. The state property fund will announce that they are planning to sell something. All potential buyers will uh, submit their bids, and, and uh, the one who uh, submits the highest bid, uh, this will be the starting price. Every bid uh, has to provide the guaranteed deposit in the amount of 5%, and if they refuse to buy, the state property fund will take this deposit. Why do we need this platform, Prozora? Uh, sales, thanks to it, will be able to uh, organize the process of preparation and putting assets for sale and bidders will be submitting their bids to this electronic, electronic si system. We uh, eliminate the human factor this way and I hope that the colleagues will finalize this system and we will uh, get uh, to a new level of transparent sale of the state property assets thanks to trans Prozora Prodigy, thanks to Transparency International. And this way we will have a big success. Uh, today we are selling in the average about 50 assets a year. That's a very little. We want to, se to sell 120 assets a month uh, in small privatization and about uh, hundred companies uh, in large uh, privatization. Uh, Ninety percent of state properties have the assets which are less than one million euros, and these are the things that the foreign um, investor will not be interested in, but they are to be sold using uh, the new law and Prozora sales. Thank you for attention. Thank you. Another partner of all the products of uh, Prozora is Transparency International, and I would like to give the floor to Yaroslav Yurchishin. Thank you very much. Uh, when we uh, were uh, thinking how to become the partners of Prozora, Mm, uh, our idea was to build up a unique system when business, uh, um, different authorities and civil society can work together on equal terms uh, um, uh, in anti-corruption area. And uh, the success of such partnership uh, is recognized at the international arena. and. Uh, this uh, is possible also in uh, the countries in transition like Ukraine. This is a golden triangle and uh, uh, the biggest amount of income coming from uh, uh, sales of uh, bankrupt uh, banks and uh, uh, State old state property is a good uh, proof. Um, we are to um, ensure our role is to ensure success. Uh, uh, that is to analyze uh, the. Uh, the bids uh, to, to, to analyze the process, the auction, uh, 
and uh, if for the whole period of functioning of preserve system, we have got just one appeal, um, which proves that, that the participants, counter agents, uh, they are satisfied and uh, uh, that the product uh, has been functioning uh, successfully. Why do we think that this product should be promoted? Uh, why do we support our partners who wish to uh, extend uh, Prozora sales uh, uh, on as many um, sectors as possible. Mm -hmm. Currently, we see uh, how much uh, commodities uh, does the state have, and uh, those commodities uh, should not uh, stay uh, in the warehouses. It should be realized. It should be sold. Actually, uh, I think we are able not to uh, beg from international sponsors for money, but uh, to um, uh, make a good use of the property which the country has. But without any reforms in the uh, state property area, mm, uh, the state is unable to uh, make a good use of its assets. So we should not wait until the state assets uh, uh, get Rot rotted and uh, spoiled because of time, we should intensify um, Prozora sales. So we encourage uh, uh, state uh, uh, enterprise estate structures to apply for um, sales and change the uh, cumbersome procedure for uh, uh, tenders uh, on Prozora, which sometimes require uh, three months. Uh, so now, after our coordination with NBU, with the Ministry of Finance, we now approach to the Cabinet of Ministers uh, and uh, propose uh, efficient mechanism uh, how this uh, uh, state property could be efficiently used. During our uh, l latest meeting with the Prime Minister, we heard uh, that uh, Prozora should be used as widely as possible everywhere where we have uh, the opportunity. Our project office is ready for additional um, Lord, we are ready to uh, extend our activities to strengthen cooperation with big amount of partners. We encourage municipalities to join us uh, uh, with their property and offer their assets for sales. So as Maxim um, mentioned, we continue to work. Uh, so the Golden Triangle comprises uh, the civil society authorities and business, and uh, the system uh, is not viable unless it has uh, strong clients. Uh, oh, and uh, we um, uh, are thinking about Ukrgas uh, uh, um, we have Andre uh, Tokar, uh, and uh, he will speak on behalf of business and explain uh, why they are interested in the Prozora functioning. Uh, UGV is a unique partner of a Prozora company from the uh, legal point of view. 
two years ago, our uh, public procurement process uh, was reformed um, actually simultaneously with the launching of Prozora and uh, we immediately joined the system and uh, uh, thus we managed to carry out our reforming process in procurement and public procurement um, successfully. We are among the leaders in efficiency, in participation in auctions. As uh, for Prozora sales, uh, we have been waiting impatiently for the um, emergency of this, uh, uh, for the uh, development of this instrument. And uh, what do we plan to do? At the first uh, stage, we will offer our lots on scrap metal, on uh, uh, exhausted batteries uh, uh, used um, uh, technical oils. So uh, they and those um, lots are measured in uh, uh, thousands of tons. So we expect them to be successful. Later, we will uh, sell um, uh, technical equipment, which uh, uh, before um, say, selling will require the expert assessment, uh, expert evaluation. Uh, so that is, we have uh, something to offer and we expect uh, it to be successful. Uh, uh, thank you. I would like to um, encourage all the Companies who wish to join Prozora sales at the pilot stage, if if you have problems with selling your assets, please join us. We will offer transparent and efficient mechanism. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Eduard Krzyzewski, Channel 24 about the um, Prozora functioning itself. Uh, quite often sellers uh, try to uh, deviate uh, from uh, the use of Prozora system. They um, stop their contracts uh, with uh, uh sell uh, with the uh, uh, suppliers and uh, there uh, recently there happened some scandals uh, with uh, those companies who did not use Prozor. Um, what 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 you plan to do with these attempts thank you for your uh, question uh, i think that uh, those uh, cases which you mentioned, they are not uh, uh, too often, they are not becoming, becoming excessively often. Uh, and uh, um, I should remind you that Ukraine started from a position when you, Ukraine was the latest in the rank of uh, uh, corrupt, corrupt countries. And we try to overcome that legacy in terms of corruption. Of course, Prozora is not a panacea which could be launched uh, uh, with pushing just one button. The reform of public procurement uh, reform is uh, much more broader than just Prozora system. It's just one of the tools. Uh, another tool is centralization of uh, uh, procurement via education, via professional level of procurement, via uh, improved uh, specifications. Uh, and our objective is to prevent corruption risks and any other risks uh, when people uh, are not interested how much uh, 
how efficiently they uh, spend uh, uh, taxpayers' money. Mm -hmm. And uh, also the information about uh, violations uh, uh, that which we discover in result of uh, Prozora process, I think it's good. Those scandals, they are good. They reveal the problems. We are not in Japan or Germany. We are in Ukraine, and up to 20% of tenders are crooked tenders, uh, or they are simply inefficient. And if people would not inform the authorities or mass media about those um, bad tenders, then the taxpayers would lose the money and that's it, would waste the money. So we encourage to uh, submit uh, claims and complaints to the Anti-Monopoly Committee to our TED uh, uh, Commission. And by the way, there are not so many informations about uh, uh, problem tenders. In this country, we have up to 4,000 tenders per day, and we get up to 30 uh, complaints per day, which means that uh, um, n not all the crook tenders are disclosed. I think that up to 50% of tenders uh, uh, may, be, uh, may be inefficient or uh, recognized the word recently in Kramatorsk. Uh, the tender on GPS equipment uh, was uh, uh, recognized uh, would, uh, when the conditions uh, were tailored just to one supplier who was handy in Kramatorsk while um, that that was not right but one complaint it's not enough to bring to responsibility the those who do not comply with the rules we need to have more complaints when we when we have state bodies receiving dozens of complaints this is a good um, proof that something is uh, um, is not right so i encourage all the participants not to be surprised with a huge number of problems but vice versa to signal all the problems to the state authorities of course we work on improvement of the system we um, continuously counteract to inventive uh, corrupt uh, uh, people and uh, just an example we will very soon unite uh, the unified uh, state register of companies with the uh, registers of the Ministry of Justice and uh, very soon uh, there will be no need to get uh, different certificates from different government bodies. Uh, they, it will be available, uh, it will be possible just to press uh, uh, several keys in your uh, uh, computer keyboard and uh, uh, find out uh, necessary certificates. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, we want to simplify the uh, tender supervision process uh, and uh, uh, Kiev School of Economics is involved in 
to design of tender supervision tool, which would uh, simplify the process of uh, simplifying the tenders. Dear colleagues, um, we have to finish now. Thank you for your participation.